So we have this very growing uh, notion that we're probably not alone. At the same time, and maybe we can finish with you, Greg, we have very little time left. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that people are willing to believe in conspiracy theories and dismiss science. Has that realization changed your thinking at all in the past year and a half about how to understand people's belief systems and what to make of UFOs? Um, I, in some ways, I think it has. I mean, I think there's no question that the whole UFO topic has, over the decades, found itself enmeshed in conspiracy theories and all sorts of rather spurious ideas about, about nefarious parties, both on Earth and outside of Earth. Um, 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 working their machinations to try to undermine our way of life. Um, and uh, that has always played that a, a role within the UFO world. But it's also very clear that many, many people, I, I'd go so far as say maybe in the vast majority of people who I've come to know involved in the UFO world are not of that ilk. They do not view the world that way. And they actually have great respect for science and medicine. Um, so I think there is a lot of space and a lot of room here in this world and in this uh, when discussing this topic to, in fact, get grounded very firmly in science and medicine, while also simultaneously asking what I think need to be tough questions about scientific authority and medical authority.